Alrighty guys, <clears throat> I won't run this long because it's like 3 in the morning, but uh, I finally had a chance to get out here in the garage and uh, bolt the muffler on and uh, I started this thing up in carbs that they messed with the caps and uh, just like I suspected the carb was way way too lean on this thing. Um, I just backed them out until I got uh, a good four stroke on the bench and I'll fine tune it uh, later today or tomorrow. Um, I think I'll take the barn chain off the that stock one. <clears throat> but uh, they pumped up pretty good. <laughs> put this a little lower than I normally normally would because they butchered the the muffler but I don't want too bad so but yeah test and tune this and then I can get it drained and uh, get it boxed up and try to figure out how to get that back to Canada the other one it come down from Canada showed up today too that's sitting in the house. Um, <coughs> I'm still hacking crap out. I might might just go ahead and bust that other 501 out <coughs> well, I'm fresh off that because the tooling's still on the lathe and all the tooling's out for and the hand pieces and then uh get that one done out of the way and the other two guys that uh, snoozed on them 4910s they took too long to get them shipped to me so I'm not, I'm not taking them any more work so if uh, by chance they show up I'll just drop them back in the mail and ship them out probably but uh, <clears throat> I've just got too much on my plate and then when I'm doing that other 501 <clears throat> I'll uh, <clears throat> bust this 372 out and then that local tree service we just bought a 500i and you know, it's going to port that on this 201 so I might <coughs> I might do that 201 and 501 or 500i <clears throat> at the same time um, I looked at that 192, somebody's been into it, fidgeted with a whole bunch of stuff, sent the guy a message. I'm not, uh, I'm not in the mood to sit there and spend hours on a throwaway model saw, so you can either buy the brand new parts and I throw them on it. And See if it fixes the problem, or I'll slap the thing back together and get it out of here. Like I said, I'm not. <coughs> I've got a whole pile of saws over here that belong to another tree service. I've got them all done. I've got his chains done. I'm gonna tell him I'm not. I'm not taking on any more work. So I just want to get all this stuff caught up, and I want to do my stuff. Um, it's all the pause ya. Alrighty, still hacking out crap. Uh, the mini's back home. When I uh, grabbed my trailer, uh, I brought the mini home and then uh, went and got that wood. Uh, I got to spin this thing around and tilt it up. The adjuster come loose on this side. And uh, I haven't checked the other side yet, but uh, 
if I gotta adjust the tracks, I'm gonna do them both at the same time and then lock the adjuster nut down. <coughs> I don't know if you can see underneath there, but my buddy did a nice job building the brackets and uh, the, I don't know, bumper for the hydraulic drive motors. Um, everything else is still, <coughs> everything else is still working good. The filter hasn't uh, dropped any fluid. The thumb is working good. So, I did get all the, the grease fittings um, changed. The, this one, they never even greased it. When I swapped the fitting and greased that one, powdered rust actually come come out of there. I don't think this this ever had grease in it from the from the factory for the main. I mean that's a pretty <coughs> a pretty crucial pin. That, that takes all the abuse from the whole <coughs> the whole thing. My floor mat's in the back of the truck. So, but, uh, I need to get around here and spray super clean all in here. Rinse everything off. <coughs> when I filled it up, I slopped some over too. But... So it's got like a weird hairy dust all over it. I don't know if you guys can see that. It almost looks like fiberglass or something. She needs a bath. Maybe I'll just leave that up. It's supposed to rain uh, today. <laughs> Let that rinse off in there, but <clears throat> yep. Okay, we're back in the shop. I'm still hacking along out. Um, yeah. So I mean, I I feel horrible. I I just can't. I can't keep trying to please everybody in the porting world that wants stuff done. Um, my dad just keeps declining, and. Uh, It looks like everything that I had set up to go to Sawfest this year fell through. So uh, don't be surprised if you don't see me at Sawfest. It's it's, it's just it's just not going to happen. One, uh, I really don't have the extra finances uh, to fund the trip down there, and then it's not just that I would have to fund uh, somebody to. I'd have to actually pay somebody to take care of my dad because I can't get. Uh, can't seem to get any help, and then uh, with the wife's new job, uh, she can't get the time off uh, to watch dad. So, and then uh, the kids have all started. Uh, well, I think my oldest one. I think she's in between jobs right now, but uh, she's got her own battles she's dealing with. But uh, the one that's staying here, she just started a new job. So, currently all the, you know, anybody that I got that uh, can, can watch them, it's, it's not going to happen. And then, me dealing with these damn kidney stones, um, I'm not bouncing around in a one ton uh, for four and a half hours one way <clears throat> to play with chainsaws, which it's a lot of fun, but, <clears throat> uh, I mean, it is a one ton, and uh, I'm dealing with kidney stones. And then it'd be a four and a half hour drive down. Um, I'd have to, I'd, I'd have to do the event, and then I'd have to turn around and just hop right back in the truck, and then do another uh, four and a half hour <clears throat> drive back, getting the crap beat out of my back on uh, that one ton. And it's just, I just don't have it in me. <coughs> Plus, I'm still trying to shake. 
shake this crud. Um, the sinuses feel quite a bit better. I haven't had any Sudafed today. Uh, kind of taking a break from that. And kind of having a no on drinking a Baja Blast here. But, um, I mean, I'm not a quarter of the way through it. And, I mean, that's two, two days worth of me drinking pop. The rest has been water or lemonade or or uh, juice, so I've been trying to nurse, whoop, make it flat now, I've been trying to nurse, <coughs> I've been trying to nurse that because I've really been trying to cut pop out completely because I don't know if that's what's causing the kidney stones, but uh, <coughs> I know I'm tired of hacking along now, um, but uh, all I'm getting out is like a like a phlegm, it's like a clear phlegm, it's not yellow or nothing, so, but I'll get, uh, doing something and the lungs will start wheezing and gurgling and then I'll have to hack that stuff out and I'll feel better for a minute or two and then it'll come back, so, I'll be glad when I'm over this crud, um, I still got to do the giveaway, uh, just be patient, um, I have everybody's info, saved uh, how many entries they did all that stuff I just gotta get around to sit down um, <clears throat> I uh, time I got out of work work today I was completely dead <laughs> and uh, I slept after I did that wood uh, I, I slept pretty much mostly afternoon only got up to deal with dad and then went and laid back down <coughs> trying to trying to rest up so yeah um want to test cut with that i might kind of i'm feeling i got to go in and wash equipment yet uh today um which means i'll get sick again never fails spray off that dirty equipment and then i end up getting sick that way too every time i wash that compactor with the pressure washer you get sick never fails um, so hopefully my immune system will be up enough to wipe whatever I catch with that out and go from there but uh, yep so hopefully I can test cut with this and then hopefully I can get started on that other one I don't know Maybe tomorrow. Just depends on how I'm feeling. But, uh, yeah, so that's a little update here on the, on the shop. I still want to do that blind port, but, uh, I really want to be feeling a little better, not coughing and hacking and stuff on camera. I'd like to get that, that done. I kind of want to do a little bit detailed on that to, because <clears throat> that that saw we're gonna do with just straight shanked uh, no timing wheel all I'm gonna do is use a piston piston ring a sharpie to show you how to lay out the cylinder we will be cutting the base but there's other ways if you don't have a lathe that you can still cut the base down you just take a have a piece of plate and a hole drilled through it and then you can put your sticky sandpaper on it and then you just push down and uh, go that way it takes forever but um, those saws really need machine work they need if you're running the, the gasket they need at least 40 thousandths <coughs> cut off if uh, you pitch the gasket you need between 30 and 35 cut off um, you know um, I'm not even going to do a squish reading on that. We're going to just whack 40 thousandths off it and uh, roll with it. That's how confident. I've done so many of them. That's how confident I am that that, that thing just needs 40 thousandths off the, off the base. But we're going to do it all with straight shank tools. <clears throat> and uh, I'll be using the Harbor Freight 
you know, wood carving grinder or whatever, but uh, you can also do it with uh, a normal Dremel. I just, I don't like using Dremels. I do, I do on wrist pins. I use Dremels on wrist pins when I'm thinning them down with a stone on the lathe. But uh, <clears throat> for the most part, we should be able to build a pretty good rammer jammer out of that with just straight shape bits. Um, will it be as clean as looking port work? Um, <clears throat> with a 90 or whatever, with, without using a 90, I don't know. I think I can get it pretty close. Um, pretty sure of that, so. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to call this a video, so, um, you guys take it easy and have a good one.